I wonder if George Lynch repeated his message to his Tar Heels. Same message he gave them on Saturday when they broke huddle. Lynch said to his teammates when they took the floor, let's win this for Coach Smith. And Jim, those two guys matched up in the center. I'm going to make a prediction. Whatever one plays the most minutes tonight, their team will win the game. That's Weber Montross. Weber said, I don't want the silver ring they gave us last year. I want the gold. It's a little change for Michigan. They're going to put Juwan Howard down there on Eric Montross and get the double team from the backside from Weber. And Weber blocks it. Jackson blocks it the next time off of Reese. And Phelps touched it last. Two blocks, one by Weber and one by Jackson. Howard in oh, position, block. blocked by Lynch from behind. He has two rebounds and a block on three Michigan trips. That was just a smart play. George Lynch timed it perfectly. At the other end, Montross follows and scores, and he'll shoot one. And here you can see Lynch making the pass to the post so tough. Jalen Rose gives it up last minute. Weber underneath for the first field goal for the Wolverines. Two great defensive clubs here. Reese, Weber was on him. Back to Montross. And a foul called against Ray Jackson. We see Chris Weber down inside. Now, he had a great game, of course, against the University of Kentucky. But he did likewise against North Carolina the first time. 35 minutes played. He was 10 for... Trouble. Montross blocked by Weber, his second of the night. Into the hands of Reese. And a blocking foul called on Weber. Great effort by Weber, but he just couldn't get there in time. And Jim, North Carolina is incredible how they can get the foul line. To Lynch. Back screen for George Lynch. And look one more time at the lob to Lynch. Carolina has held Michigan to only one field goal. Palinka, three-pointer. Got it. They didn't make one against Kentucky. Two. Weber back to King, over to Rose. Palinka sets up for another three. Rob Polinka. Those threes change the tenor of the game. You can see a little worried look on a North Carolina player's face. Jalen Rose. Oh, three in a row. Nine straight points on three. Excellent passer. The last three trips, nine points. Weber driving. No contact or no, no foul on the contact. Polinka. Good fake. Puts it up. Too strong. Weber. That's going to count. Dragged to the floor. That was George Lynch. One of the strongest forwards in college basketball who had Weber right around the shoulder. And Weber was so strong, he was able to take it right up. And now, Jalen and he are really going to have That's called the lecture. You can watch it right here. I thought that Palinka got five. But watch the strength that Weber has being pulled to the floor and still. Made all East Regional. Did Reese? That's a, that's a foul. Yes, score the basket. Salvadori's problem against a Michigan didn't even play this much in the first half of the game uh, in, in Hawaii early in the year. Weber got it to go, plus a foul. How about threading that needle for Jalen Rose? Clears it for Carolina. Rose. Carolina has cut a 10-point lead down to three. Williams can tie it, he does. Jim, what really set that up is the... Packing it down, giving the three. King. Oh, boy. Michigan doing the job with threes. Didn't make... There's the screen, and there's the shot. Three-point shot. What a, what a pure shooter. That was Stop substituting quickly here in the second half. Montross with a soft oh, hand. Oh, what a touch. In terms of the offensive defensive strategy. King leaning. And Weber is the guy. That was a brilliant play on his. Boy, they're really going down on Weber, aren't they? It's pretty obvious what they talked yes, about sir. at halftime. And so Michigan maybe to take something outside to gain some valuable minutes of energy. Rose. Oh, nice shot. Court side. North Carolina a moment ago had its largest lead of eight. And Michigan has cut it now to four. Donald Williams. His follow through in the last two games. A lot of pushing going on down in low. Williams, wow, he is so oh, sure. Right. There's a guy who was a fair shooter. Another man with a bald pate. Only man in the history of this tournament to be the MVP and play on three championship teams in his career. Never lost in the final four. The other end, Jackson. 
That's a two. All right, Leslie, back to the starting five, in fact, for Michigan. Rose. There's that lane. lane. Yep. So tough it's on a, that shot. Oh, he is, because it's six. He's got to pivot out there. There's oh, Weber. What a steal. Watch. Foot race. Weber with Williams behind him. Forget it. Well, that should have been a technical foul. I do not understand that call, Jim. Guy hangs on the rim. He's not in any danger. It has not been called all year. It'll be the number one thing I Weber. Oh, the second time tonight, he almost made the great play. And twice oh, now. Man. Twice Howard has tried to follow up an easy one and missed a chippy. And oh. Belts. He knocks down his own player, Salvadori, and penetrates for the two. He loves that move. He uses his own player as a screener while he's dribbling. Oh. Weber knocks him to the floor. Score the basket. Good. Williams fell, but no foul. Belts had it stolen. Jimmy King. There'll be no stopping him. The game is tied. Some slam by King. God, he's got some size on him. They just can't get him the ball. Lynch, jumper. North Carolina back in front. A veteran. So great to have big men that can pass like Juwan Howard. Weber, nifty move. Montrose getting a long rest. There's that passing line for Weber, and Michigan is in front, 60-58. North Carolina's not been able to push it up. That's the shot Williams loves. And he puts the Tar Heels ahead by one. Jim Williams has done the job. 12 on the shot clock. Rose. This could be a huge shot right here. Huge shot. That gives Michigan a four-point lead. Michigan going high-low. King, jumper. Huge shot. Two-point basket. Two-pointer. Williams. Oh, oh, is that beautiful. Going inside, but it's tough to score in there with that double down help. Lynch on a tough shot. George Lynch, his father. Passing you, you got to go look to score because they have everybody back. Lynch to Montross, got to take it. it. You've got to look to score, Jim. What North Overtime championship against Seton Hall. Three to tie. Got it. Oh, sure look good. Weber underneath. One point game, North Carolina by Remember, one. Michigan has no timeouts left. Sullivan pushed off, got by with it. There it is, go long. Roeder in the corner, 25 seconds remaining. Playing Polinka keep away. tried to call, he does in fact commit the foul on Sullivan. So Sullivan will go to the line. Long, a two to tie, Michigan. Have to bring it. Oh, he walked. He, he walked in. The referee missed it. Weber brings it into the front court. They have no timeouts remaining. Oh, he causes he too many timeouts. That's a technical foul. He called a timeout. Michigan doesn't yes. have any. He got by with a walk, and Jimmy calls a technical. He, he calls a timeout. He doesn't realize that's Michigan's too many, and so it'll be a technical foul. North Carolina shooting and the ball. A huge mental mistake. Ball. Worthy really out of position on that particular play. Brown threw it to what he thought was a teammate out of the corner of his eye, and it was James Worthy. Weber thought they had a timeout in their pocket. They did not. Thus, it's a technical foul against the Wolverines. North Carolina will shoot two, plus have possession. Doesn't, re doesn't see the play, but Weber walks on this one. Boom, boom, there's the walk. Now here he calls the timeout because he realizes he's in trouble. It's down to 11 seconds. And you can see the exasperated look on the sideline. And Michigan can't stop it. He makes two. This game will be over. And Jeff, the other thing that's interesting, we talked about foul problems. It turned out not enough fouls with the problem for Michigan. Eight seconds away from a second national championship. The Fab Five comes up short again. There you have it, North Carolina is the 1993 national champion.